This group of people are surprisingly holding steel bars in their mouths. Hands and feet are also tied with gold chains, after thousands of years. Even standing out of the lumbar disc protrusion, still they're motionless. It turns out that this is a group of titanic trolls who can fight with the gods. Thousands of years ago, they were sealed in a golden cage by the gods together. But at this time, a human named Hyperion even wanted to release them, because his wife and son were infected with the plague. He prayed to the gods religiously, but his wife and son still died. Faced with the death of his wife and son, Hyperion took all his anger at the gods. In order to destroy this group of false gods, Hyperion wants to release the titan troll, and it is said that only a weapon called the Godslayer Bao can break the golden cage. But since the last battle between the titans and the gods, the Bao has disappeared. In order to find this weapon, Hyperion brought his army to the Temple of the Holy Maiden, which can predict the future, but the Holy Maiden had foreseen his arrival and left early with her three bodyguards, seeing that they had made a trip for nothing, they had to vent their anger at the old people who had stayed here. On the other hand, a little boy was chopping trees with a wooden sword. He is the half-human, half-god Theseus. At this time, he still does not know his identity. Zeus, the leader of the gods, changed into an old man and has been training Theseus in various skills since he was a child. Because he also predicted that one day one of the titan trolls would break through the golden cage. And Theseus was humanity's last hope. That day, the camp was suddenly attacked by Hyperion, and Theseus saw his mother about to be killed. He immediately rushed into the enemy's army and threw his spear through the enemy's chest. He then grabbed the enemy's scimitar and reaped the enemy's life with ease. He then pulled out his gun and jumped to the ground, throwing it at the soldier who attacked his mother. Then he went straight into the enemy's midst with a single sword, but his fists were no match for four hands, and he was soon pinned to the ground by Hyperion's soldiers. Hyperion also rubbed his mother's neck in front of him, seeing his mother die before his eyes. Theseus roared with anger. Theseus, who was physically strong, was also taken by Hyperion and used as a laborer. The gods were watching the massacre, but they could not help. It's a heavenly rule. The gods cannot intervene directly in the affairs of the human world unless the titans are released. Theseus was assigned to a salt mine, and all he had to do was move the stakes every day, and he was about to die of thirst after a long day. At that moment, for people in strange costumes came in. The Holy Maiden was also captured by Hyperion. As she passed, she inadvertently touched Theseus' feet, and her ability was activated. It is surprising to see that in the near future Theseus will take up the bow of God and join Hyperion, so that the human race will be destroyed. In order to prevent the tragedy, the Holy Maiden took the opportunity to drink water. She whispered to the slave beside her, asking him to pick out some capable fighters to escape together tonight. Then she went over to Theseus' side and quietly gave him some water with her mouth. That night, the four Holy Maiden danced seductively, causing the soldiers to come to them. The Holy Maiden took advantage of their inattention and killed the soldiers. At the same time, Theseus and the others outside the house also took the opportunity to attack and kill all the soldiers present. Unsurprisingly, the soldiers upstairs heard the commotion, and the three holy maiden chose to stay behind. They let the others escape first, and eventually the three holy maiden were captured. Theseus escaped and robbed a merchant ship to seek revenge on Hyperion. Unbeknownst to them, a group of Hyperion soldiers were on board. Just after they escaped from the tiger's mouth, they were again surrounded by wolves. At the moment of crisis, the gods couldn't stand it any longer and came to their aid. Poseidon, the god of the sea, came straight down and the sea was smashed into a crater of a hundred meters. Today's great wave came quietly. The enemy was unaware of the impending danger. Theseus and the others rushed out of the ship. Theseus and the others escaped danger. After a short rest, he returned to the camp to rest his mother's body. At that moment, a strange rock caught his attention, and he had a feeling that something was hidden inside. He picked up a hammer and smashed the rock with a hammer, and there lay the legendary Godslayer's bow. Theseus picked it up and looked at it carefully. Slingshot without arrows is no different from garbage. Theseus curiously pulled the bowstring, and a sharp arrow appeared between his fingers. A divine weapon is a divine weapon. Sharpness is hidden in the dark. At that moment, however, a kitchen knife flew at him, and the bow was knocked to the ground. Theseus rushed to hide. Behind them suddenly attacked a minotaur three meters tall. It's Hyperion's man. The Minotaur's power is infinite, and Theseus has been the losing side since the beginning, but Theseus has been trained by Zeus since he was a child and knows how to find the enemy's weaknesses. He saw the guy's weakness in slow motion and slashed him twice in the calf and shoulder, and the Minotaur fell to the ground. Theseus cut off his head with one slash, 
He couldn't care less about his wound and rushed back to the camp. The Holy Maiden and the others had been captured by Hyperion's man, with the weapon in his hand. Theseus raised his hand and struck four swords. Then a miraculous scene happened. The arrow seemed to have eyes. A hundred meters away four swords hit four enemies at the same time. But unexpectedly the Minotaur's weapon was tainted with poison. The Holy Virgin gave Theseus healing. Looking at the strong and handsome Theseus, the two rubbed the spark of love. After the care of the Holy Maiden, Theseus was healed and refreshed. They went straight to Hyperion's lair. And when they tried to sneak in, they were ambushed by the enemy. The bow falls to the ground and is carried away by a hyena. Theseus was about to die when a figure came down from the sky and kicked the enemy. Time slowed as Ares waved his war hammer and the enemy was blown away like a watermelon explosion. Then two horses appeared. The goddess Athena also came to support. Then another holy light flew down to the ground. And the earth trembled. Zeus, the leader of the gods, also came. Athena looked frightened and knelt down to beg for mercy. Ares, however, felt that he was not at fault but only violated the rules of heaven to save mortals. Zeus instantly rages, reaches out and grabs the flame into a purgatory fire whip. To Ares to draw, a generation of gods Ares. Even ashes are not left. On the other hand, the hyena had already handed over the godslayer bow to Hyperion, and had now arrived at the foot of the Greek city, because the mountain peak behind the city is the golden cage where titan trolls are held. Hyperion's army was stationed outside the city. Theseus hurriedly approached the lord of the city and said that Hyperion had taken possession of the godslayer bow. He suggested that the lord of the city should block the gate and be ready to fight, so that Hyperion could not go near the golden cage. As a result, the lord of the city only believes in science and does not believe in these so-called myths, and naively believes that Hyperion is here to negotiate for peace. At this time, under the corner of the city, Hyperion came to negotiate specifying that Theseus should come. What Theseus didn't expect was that Hyperion wanted him on his side, just as the Holy Maiden had predicted. But the revenge of killing her mother did not make Theseus lose his senses and immediately turned back. As negotiations broke down, the battle was about to begin. Hyperion drew his bow and fired an arrow, and the gate burst after 10 meters. The soldiers at the gate were so blinded by this that they retreated back into the city in fear and some threw away their weapons before the battle even began. Theseus, in order to revive the morale of the soldiers, continued to inspire them with his loud voice. In an instant, those soldiers who were planning to flee for their lives had their fighting spirit rekindled. Under Hyperion's command, countless soldiers swarmed and soon crowded into the tunnel at the gate. Narrow path to winning the brave, Theseus took the brunt of the fight. He led a few hundred soldiers to face the enemy and fought fiercely with them, but Hyperion didn't fight. Because his goal was to free the titans, he came to the top of the wall and fired an arrow at the mountain. Theseus heard the explosion and called his teammates to rush out together. The two of them passed through the tunnel blown up by Hyperion and came to a cave where four stone statues 100 meters high stood. And standing right below it is Hyperion. These two men rushed to stop, but it was too late. As a holy light rushed into the sky, the titan, who could fight against the sky gods, was released. Theseus' teammates retrieved the godslayer bow and shot a titan in panic, but they were eventually killed by a chaotic axe. Immediately afterwards, light fell from the sky as Zeus led the gods to finally descend, and a war of the gods was about to begin. A soldier picked up the god-devouring bow. Zeus threw a flying hammer and sealed the bow in the stone. The gods scattered and fiercely fought with the titan. The scythe in his hand is like a death sentence, where the heads and bodies are separated. A move without delay, Theseus on the other hand, was attacked by Hyperion and stabbed in the stomach. Hyperion struck him with a series of blows until Theseus had no more strength to stand up. Hyperion poses as the victor, arrogantly wiping the blood from his knife. The next moment struck Theseus, but he was stabbed in the back of the foot. Hyperion was mounted by Theseus in pain. Theseus stabbed the knife into his neck with all his strength, and this was considered revenge for his mother. On the other hand, the gods were in a bitter battle, despite their great power, but an endless number of titans crawled out of their cages, and it was impossible to kill them all. The gods were overwhelmed and fell one by one, seeing that the situation could not be reversed. Zeus picked up the pole ring of the golden cage. Two iron ropes appeared, each connected to the heel of the stone statue. Zeus pulled with all his strength, and the huge stone statue instantly collapsed, burying the titan in it. At the last moment Zeus flew back into the sky, carrying Athena, who was still breathing, Theseus immediately fainted and his body turned into holy light and flew straight into the sky. Looking at the ground, the mountain collapsed into a huge mudslide. 
swallowing Hyperion's army completely. The battle was clearly lost by the Sky Gods, and Titan Trolls had an absolute numerical advantage. Years later, the Holy Maiden gave birth to a son, Theseus, who inherited his mother's ability to see the future. In the future, he saw his father Theseus fighting Titan Trolls in the sky. It seems that the story of Theseus is still not over. Please subscribe to my channel. Share different movies and videos every day.